Hey guys, welcome back to some World of Warships. Today we're doing another ship request. Last time you guys wanted to see the Tromp that was left in the comments down below. Ship that I haven't really played all that much since it released. It's a pretty fun gimmicky ship. Although I don't find it particularly strong to play all the time. But messing around with the airstrikes is a pretty fun experience every once in a while. So that's what we're going to try and make work today. As always with this series, make sure you guys comment down below whatever ship you want to see next. Whatever ends up being the most upvoted, I will play next time. It's a great way for you guys to request something that I don't typically play. See something on the channel that is not often covered. Uh, and Tromp certainly would fit that description. Our build, for example, is trying to maximize as much as we can all three ammo types. Uh, maybe I should be trying to just focus on one, but I'm kind of just trying to do a jack-of-all-trades build here. Trying to do a little bit on airstrikes, trying to do a little bit on main guns, and continuing to use the torpedoes here. They are pretty quick torps, they do decent damage actually as well, and they have an okay reload. You just don't get very many of them uh, is really the issue here. The build that I'm running is a bit of a weird one as well, I think. Um, but we're going to use Fearless Brawler since we don't have a smoke here. So typically, if we're going to get in a gunfight, this is just 10% uh, reload for us, which is quite nice. Adrenaline Rush is going to help us with pretty much everything. And then fill the tubes here, actually giving us that a little better uh, torpedo tube reload time. There's going to be opportunities where we're actually not going to be really using our main guns. And we're going to just try and torp and airstrike people, which is very annoying to deal with. I've had... The experience, uh, the misfortune of being targeted like that a couple times uh, since this ship got released. And it's pretty hilarious being on the uh, end here where we're actually dealing that damage. But on the other side, it's <laughs> a little ridiculous. Uh, we do have a 5.9 kilometer detect, 150 millimeter guns, which are pretty important since that does allow us to pen 30 millimeters of armor, which makes us pretty decent against cruisers as well. Although keep in mind that we're quite slow and a pretty big target. So we don't actually want to be gunboating cruisers, but there are some opportunities where you can farm a cruiser down uh, and it'll do okay because you can pin. Um, the fire chance is decent as well, but this ship really does want to just mess around with the airstrikes and the torpedoes and then potentially using those guns as a uh, third threat. Um, but we're going to try and do the meme uh, conceal and <laughs> torp and airstrike people. Should be a good time. So getting into our first game here, looking to have some fun with these airstrikes. Could be a little tricky. Although notice we do have a Gudan on our team and he's actually on our flank. So the enemy team uh, might be enjoying themselves here just a little bit. Not sure how this is going to go. The enemy team does have a Sherman Smallin Div, which is a little terrifying. And I haven't actually used these airstrikes in quite some time, so it might be a little difficult uh, for us to actually land them. Keep in mind, the actual reticle here is just tiny, and uh, you do have to lead 11 and a half seconds, which is a lot, right? That's uh, not easy to do. Okay, we've got ourselves a Cleveland here and the Yamato. So very important to know that their div is here. Right, so we've got to be playing very, very carefully. That just means we kind of passively play here. <laughs> oh boy, this is going to be tough. Sherman Smallland is terrifying, man. Not quite in range for the airstrike. We do have some teammates here. But we do have to be careful. This is something you want to be potentially thinking about when you are uh, playing on these flanks. You do want to look at what the enemy team has available to them and then keep that in mind if you're ever going to be pushing or, you know, going for caps aggressively. Our DD on our side is going to get the cap, and I'm going to just try and hold this flank here. It does somewhat look like they're gonna push down. Yami's pushing reasonably aggressively. Actually, what I really want to do is get near this island. Because then, if they come around this corner, radar, try and trap me here, I can actually use this island as cover, which would be really nice. Don't quite have the range on the airstrike just yet. But that's okay. Yeah, so there's Sherman already. 
That's just fine. Fire on the Napoli coming in, all right. All right, let's try it. Torpedoes astern. Perhaps we can get it if he turns out there. Torpedoes astern. No. Missed it. All right, that's fine. Oh, we'll put it on top of him. Yeah, he's definitely interested in us. That is fine. Oh, they have a Louisiana. That's a little scary. Let's see. Did he back up in time? He didn't! Seven and a half! <laughs> oh, that's rather silly, isn't it, guys? <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. That is very funny. Now, we do have a Napoli here with us, so... I'm okay with pushing up a little bit to this island. Um, I don't want to push out wide, because if I push out wide to try and deal with a small end out here, then I'm going to open myself up to the entire enemy team here. But going up to here, I'm okay with. Small end goes down. Yeah, that was going to happen. This guy's got his engine out. It's kind of interesting. Try there. I'm always just looking for the... Wow, we didn't hit him. I'm looking at the smoke here just to make sure I'm not actually going to get uh, hit from the Sherman. I want to be open to that guy. Cleveland's running. So we'll go there. Something you might also want to... Oops, I'm sorry, Mr. Napoli. Something you might also want to consider with some of these ships um, is varying when you use your airstrikes. So maybe always just keep one in reserve and that way you can hopefully use it on a little more guaranteed salvos, that kind of thing. Our DD is going wide there. It's a little sketchy. Let's go there. A little open to the middle of the map now. Yep. Okay. We're in trouble. Gun crews are on full alert. Engine boost activated. And Louisiana's here too. Oh boy. That's a lot of pain. Unfortunate, guys. This is our first game. What we have to deal with. Pretty tough to get away from this. Very difficult. A torps there. And then we'll run away. So yeah, not not a lot of fun to be had, unfortunately. But hey, sometimes that is the way the game goes. He actually is almost in that. Wait. Do we catch him? <laughs> I got him again. Oh, that's funny. So yeah, um, you know, they're just kind of chilling. They're not pushing. This is kind of what I'm talking about a little bit when, you know, when I mentioned in that Ishikov video. It's people set up to try and kill you, you know. They, they set up in a way that it's like, hey, I'm if you're going to push in and try and play the game, I am going to kill you. Um, and then that's all they, they kind of wait for, it seems like. And then you get games like this, where the enemy team's triple cap, they're not doing anything, and then the game's just going to end. Um, and the way that enemy team wins is if our team gets impatient and decides to just full send it into them anyway. And that happens a lot too, honestly. I won't lie. Um, that that definitely happens. Good old th Game of Throws, as we know. But it's just annoying the way the game is played right now. So it'd be nice if Wargaming were to uh, switch things up a little bit on how, how the game functions. Maybe reward pushing a little more, make it a little more viable. I don't know. 
Our Napoli walking out flat broadside to a Yami. Is this the... <laughs> yep, alright. Game of Thrones, guys. Game of Thrones. <laughs> really, rather funny. It's right on cue as I was starting to talk about it. <laughs> That's hilarious. You know, and they're just running off the map, right? Like, if I push into that, I'm just going to die. So I'm not supposed to push into that, and yet this is going to be a boring YouTube video because of that, you know? And just for me playing, personally, it's it's boring. So, I don't know what to do, man. Alrighty, pushing back in. Can we get another one? <laughs> that would be rather funny. Oh, the Guden's got his going, too. Let's go. <laughs> the airstrikes. Such a menace. I love it. He detonated. Oh my goodness, that's so stupid. Enemy destroyer sunk. Oh my goodness, what a silly way to end this, this game. Hello Brisbane, how are you? Let's see, we got ourselves some armor piercing. Woo, 14k from the airstrikes. Okay, I, I know I kind of tried to temper expectations around these airstrikes, but have we only done damage with airstrikes? Might be. Also, we're stuck, so not much to be done here the rest of this game. But that's rather hilarious. <laughs> Alright, maybe maybe I'm a little better with these airstrikes, but what a, what a sad match, um, gameplay-wise. Unfortunate. 42k... Yeah, didn't really accomplish much at all in that one. And yeah, <laughs> I think, was this only, only airstrikes 21k? Oh, this poor guy. Of course, we did detonate him, so that keep that in mind as well. I'm not sure how much we actually got out of that uh, last one. Normal airdrops, though, or these airstrikes do pretty decent damage still. So jumping into game number two here, we find ourselves against some CVs, unfortunately. But we do find ourselves against some DDs. I think we can go up reasonably favorably against. Engine boost activated. So let's see what we got over here. Our concealment's not bad. Hello, Mr. Z46. Apparently I had armor piercing still. That's a little sad. Send the airstrikes out. And we're okay to turn away now. <laughs> and do we get anything? No, looks like he pulled forward. That's smart. Carrier's over here. We don't have smoke to help us, right? So we're going to have to go play with our teammates. Unfortunate, but that is the only way to do it. Anti aircraft gun crews are on full alert. What's his plan? Did he just come over here to try and spot? Is that really it? Okay. Well, kind of wasted a... Kind of wasted a boost, but that's okay. Got him off our Georgia. Got him away from us. That's really what matters. Wow, look at their team in the middle. Look at them push up. That's crazy. What a sick position to get into. That's awesome. Are they in a div? That's not a div, guys! Look at people pushing. It happens. It actually happens in a carrier match, no less. Rather surprising. I like it, though. I like it a lot. Let's go see if we can uh, get in a fight with some of these guys over here. Oh, the lightning's right here. Although he's just going to get smashed, I think. Uh, I'll send an airstrike out for the Dalian. I also want to get this cap, if at all possible. Yeah, Smolensk is just going to wreck his day. Uh, Z might actually show up right there. They traded him, though, actually. That's a pretty decent trade for their team. I can lie. Stopping and reversing? Sure. Alright, let's get our guns ready for this Z, if he's going to come in. Don't have... Too much. Well, the George is pretty close to us. We're okay. We're doing okay. Oh my goodness! All right. Well, engine boost activated. That's brutal. 
Bergamo's still here. We can go fight him. Torpedoes, dead ahead. We have one? Oh, we do have another one. <laughs> oh, these silly airstrikes, man. I just don't want to push too far into their spawn, you know? It makes it so difficult. There's a Worcester there, you know? I hit him three times. Okay, maybe I'm better with these than I thought. That's kind of hilarious, actually. It does help to not have to... Oh, there he is. The Z. Uh, it does help a lot that you don't have to deal with any um, parachutes, I guess. The ship is on fire. I can't get dark here. Definitely thought I could. Oh, there we go. And he appears to be reversing. That's fine. Lost a lot of health there. Tromp is a bit of a brick. So... That is gonna happen at times. Unfortunately. Oh, he's out. Ooh, this weird camera angle. Let's go... Here? Here? Let's try there. Maybe? <gasps> Maybe? No, it's a little too far forward. Clip him? No, not quite. Now it's gonna be a turn out? Or is that just... He's dead to the torps. Okay. He's dead to the torps. Okay, I should have been shooting him there. I'm too focused on these stupid airstrikes. Oh man, 15,000 damage is not a great game here, but Trump, I think is one that we really want to be facing people pushing into us, right? Uh, our toolkit really is surrounding stalling out pushes, that kind of thing, farming people down. Um, so in games like this, where you're kind of tasked with being a little more aggressive, a little harder. We found the Worcester. Stalingrad is really, really low. Uh, I might have made a mistake coming this way, actually. Gonna take a second, but I do think it's right to reverse here. Maybe? Because if I push in front of this island, then I'm just in front of this island for a Worcester radar, right? It's not good. It's a closer game, though, at least. Unfortunate that I haven't been able to really do anything, damage-wise. Here-ish, maybe? Try it. Oh, he angles in. That. That's okay. We can go around and get a better angle. I'm just on, you know, I, I know I can be pretty liable to die here very quickly to a Worcester radar, so just playing it passive for now. Okay, just radar out of nowhere. Worcester must be pushing. A little scary. Maybe he's pushing for the B cap and he doesn't have an angle on us? <laughs> That'd be nice. Although it looks like we're gonna get griefed by the carrier now. Maybe he goes after the Musashi, not me. Maybe? Maybe, maybe? <laughs> uh, the wishful thinking, guys. Oh? Wait, he's changing course. Some torps in there. That is a very long radar. Holy. There we go. Finally ran out. Wouldn't be surprised if he's coming after us. Take a longer route. And do I open up on this Z right now? I don't think I do. I'm very worried about the Worcester pushing out around this corner here. That's why I torped it. Oh, never mind. I was fine. Engine boost deactivated. 
I was totally fine to open up. Silly me. We're good to go. No, I didn't lead it enough. Look at that. One second earlier. One second more lead and that would have been good. Okay, I'll just splash all around him. Give him a quick car wash. Always good. Mister's gonna be really slow, so we'll just go there. So yeah, I'm not... Yeah, I think what I said at the beginning of this video is true. I'm not great with this ship. I don't find it the most comfortable thing to play. The airstrikes are funny. They're very, very funny. Um, but I find it difficult to make aggressive plays in this thing. Um, because it's just a little too big. Um, it takes a lot of damage. And while you do have 150s, they're not the best guns in the world. They do all right damage when they hit, but that's about it. Okay, put an airstrike there. His engine's out, so if he's slowing down, that's a really good spot for it. He went forward. Fair enough. Uh, I suppose it's possible the Worcester is pushing again. 15. That was a very long radar if I remember right. Which way would he push? He could come this way too. Ah, he is going that way. Sure. I'll try there. Maybe the um, DD's forced to turn for that. Missed. Bad. Uh, we got to run away, though. From this Worcester. We're all very low on our team, so a little sketchy here. Yeah, there he is. But hey, we have the airstrikes to kind of just do this silly chip damage in every once in a while. Send some torps out his way. I really just want to get outside of the radar range. I know he doesn't have it for a bit, but um, it's pretty important. Oh, Musashi shots? Ooh, not quite. Go there for maybe a turn. It's very hard to lead these things, man. You can see how much time they have to maneuver. I think he drifts into that slightly. Okay, shatters, but we do get a fire. And our next set of torps, I don't think are quite fast enough to clip him. Battle ends in five minutes. Go there. I think he's gonna have to angle into the Georgia again. Maybe that takes him into those. Hmm, a little too much lead that time. All right, we're getting close to this island. I should actually try and help him while he's still alive. Distract a little bit. Hey, a fire! There we go. Oh, there we go. Nice hits, Georgia. Does he live? Oh, he doesn't quite live. Yeah, I'm not very comfortable in this thing, as you can tell. I, I lose too much. I, I get impatient, and then I lose too much HP, and then I'm forced to play passive. And I think if you get the right match where someone pushes in on you, like, I'm just going to push into this thing. And maybe that's why the Tromp looks like a hilarious and fun ship to play is because... I'm the idiot that just pushes in to try and make something happen. Um, but if you don't have that person on the enemy team that's going to do that for you, <laughs> it's, it's a weird one to play. It's very weird. Um, but it can be hilarious. And uh, as we saw, the airstrikes do okay. Uh, the thing you just have to keep in mind with them is they only pen 20 millimeters. And so that's why we're doing shatters even on a Worcester, right? So that's where going after DDs and, and that, if you can land on DDs, 
that's where you're going to get those full pens, right? So, and we got very lucky too that we detonated that Sherpin in the first one. That's uh, very unfortunate for that poor guy. Um, but that's going to do it for the Tromp. Let me know what you want to see next in the comments below. As always, ship request, whatever is most upvoted, that's what I'll do next. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.